Alan can ride his bike on two highways to get from his house to his friend Carl's house. He can also ride his bike on a side street between the two houses. How far does he bike if he takes the side street? So here they give us a little picture. So we know that Alan's house is up here at point A, and then Carl's house is down at point C. So there's one way he could take that takes this highway that's, high, that's um, side length AB, and then he also can, in addition to get to Carl's house, he'll have to also have to take the uh, highway that runs between BC here. Or he could take this side street here. So if you see, the side street forms the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Since I know it's a right triangle because it's indicated here, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So if you remember, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I know that a, I can, I'm going to make a side length a, b, and I'm going to make B side length BC, which will give me my hypotenuse, which is AC. Now I'm going to plug in the information that I know. So I know that um, side length AB is 10 kilometers. So AB is 10 squared. And BC is 7.5 squared equals AC squared. All right, now we need to multiply. So I know that 10 squared is 100. And if you put in 7.5 squared into your calculator, you will get 50. 6.25 equals AC squared. Now I must add those two together. So I have 156.25 equals AC squared. Now if you remember back from uh, earlier in the year, to get rid of this square on the AC, you're going to have to do the opposite of it, so you have to take the square root of both sides. So you're looking for the square root of 156.25, which I will tell you, if you were to put it in your calculator, you will get 12.5 kilometers equals the length of AC. So we know that he bikes 12.5 kilometers if he takes the side street. So of his two routes, taking the highways or the side street, which route is faster?